think I've severely underestimated Mari because she just fucking whipped out her Shika, her Bankai, whatever it was, took down the man-eating tiger who's been pretty much hyped up a lot. Now, he, she did get support from Onisama and Mayumi, but still, that's kind of fucking insane. I've really been kind of... I don't know. It's, it's just like I've never seen her fight, so it's not really fair for her to just pop off like that and it's like, what the fuck? I didn't know. I mean, she's golden. She's golden. I'm sure, you know, Prez is too. Now, what are we doing moving forward? Man Eating Tiger is pretty much done, but this guy was hyped up a lot. We still have the competition coming up. And more importantly, that Zou guy, the butler looking dude, I think he's a bigger threat than anyone else. But let's begin today's reaction. And the weirdest shit was Zou was in the same building when the Man Eating Tiger was there and he was being really sus. I almost thought that he was helping us out. Flirting with Onisama in front of Leo? After what happened last episode? Oh, Leo and Erika want to help as like bodyguards. Well, that's what they've been training for. Yeah, why? Well, they've been training. Might as well make use of it? What's the plan? He's a special training, right? What did Leo learn? Something about like the invisible blade from Erika? Like an ultimate technique to kill? Hey, those are pretty much dates, okay? Speaking of dates, look at the two right there. I think they just reported themselves. They just self-reported themselves. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Every year? Jesus Christ. It's crazy how like... There's st still, like, up to this point, the teachers haven't done shit. The students have to do everything. Fucking protect our school, take out the terrorists. Like, the students have done everything right now. They're building Erika and Leo and Mikiko to be bodyguards, but this is something the fucking school should be providing. Where the fuck are the teachers, man? Oh, it's this girl again. Yo, she tried running away, and the nurse just fucking just choked her out. Ooh, all his attention is to Oni, uh, Miyuki. You're not gonna get anything, Oni Sama. Oh, arrogance? No, he's confident. It might seem arrogant, but that's just utmost confidence in himself. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is an interesting way to insult somebody. You're just worth nothing. He doesn't even look at you or even think about you. Jesus Christ. Okay, stop flexing when he's someone in front of her. <laughs> yeah, and he invented flying magic. Yeah, yeah. He's Silver Taurus too, by the way. Took out the Crimson Prince. Oh. Oh. She's actually pretty smart. That's actually insane if she's like pretty much second place right behind Onisama. She's up there. Interesting. In terms of just magical engineering, I don't know. So, this girl is gonna get bailed out and join us to help us with hardware. That was pretty good, you know? That was a little bit of bad cop, good cop, you know? Came a little harsh, saying, You're fucking nothing. You're never gonna be nothing. Only someone doesn't even look at you, let alone think about you. You're like, Actually, you're actually good at this. Come help us out. Ichihara doesn't get enough screen time. It's more Mari and me, uh, Mayumi. But Ichihara is, like, also a very important character. Technically, we don't need her because we have Taurus, right? The silver is Tatsuya. He does all the software. Taurus is hardware. What? Crimson Prince and fucking George. Fuck you, George, and your dumbass haircut. Still mean to George for no reason, but it looks like they're coming to the thesis competition. What's going on? Oh, this is a... Uh, uh, oh my god, what is she wearing? Wow. You smell divine. Dude, Erika's brother is completely whipped by her. She has complete control over him right now. She is dangerous, bro. She weaponizes her charm so well. Come on, Pay Piggy. What do you? What else do you got for me? Ruthless businesswoman, dude. He does everything she asks. I mean, I probably would too. So are they gonna be bodyguards for us too? I'm acquainted with. She cares about him more than her, her fucking date right now across the dinner table, bro. If only he knew, Erika's brother knew, that like, she cares more about a high school student boy right now rather than him when they're out on a dinner date. Nah, something's gonna happen. Let's fucking go. I want Onisama and Crimson Prince to pair up. You know, enemies, rivals turning into teammates against like a common enemy is like a very good trope I enjoy. I'm telling you, man. Where's the fucking professionals? 
Why do the students have to do everything themselves? This is crazy. All right, where's George and Crimson Prince at, huh? Where is he? Oh, brother! Is Erika super broke on with that brother too? Or does he? Does she not care that much about this brother? <laughs> Pickup artist? I guess she doesn't care that much for the older brother? But the younger one, she seems to care a lot more. <laughs> because he became corrupted thanks to Mari. Oh! Crimson? She actually smiled? Who, who is this? Who's this guy? That's not George. Hold up! Is Crimson Prince cheating on George with this kid? Who is this? He's so blushed talking to Miyuki. Of all the guys, I if I was Onisama, I feel comfortable, you know, with Crimson Prince as like Miyuki's significant other. Because eventually, Onisama has to go with obviously Mayumi, right? Yeah, yeah, who the fuck is this? I've never seen it in my life. But basically, Crimson Prince is cheating on Cardinal George with this kid right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> Gay lovers. <laughs> Dude. What? That's your shit. That's your like potential boyfriend. Yeah, all I did was train him up and give him an ultimate weapon to kill. He also walked in on me and I called him super manly. Another ship right there. Oh, look at them smiling, getting along. Erika knows. Erika knows. Uh huh. Yeah. Fujibashi? Are they friends? Kinda tense. Miss Phantom? That's her code name? The Electron Source? Dude, I love the fact that this show puts titles on characters to hype them up. Crimson Prince. Cardinal George. Electron Sorcerer. <laughs> Miss Phantom? No, I bet the council is really cracked too. Master Kokonoi, that's the ninja guy, right? Baldi? Aren't we on the same side? Basically, don't get in my way, you bitch. Get in my way and I kill you. Kind of like polite threats. You can admonish me though, Fujibayashi. Bye bye. Damn, that was cold. Yeah. Is she tipping her off or is this more of like a warning? A little bit of both, maybe? We missed the prison break! Man, I kind of wanted Onisama to like be part of the prison break too and like bend it off, but... It's okay. Now they can attack the thesis competition. It's like, I don't want it... Wait, I want it to happen. It's bad for them, but you know, I want some shit to go down. Second lieutenant. Ho! Kirihara? Mori... Not, not Morisaki, this is uh, Hattori Hanzo. Oh, Jimonji eating a sandwich! Wow! I don't know why this is like entertaining to me. <laughs> Jimonji actually doing something else other than just doing this. Uh, would they understand something's off? Too many foreigners? Low key racist? <laughs> Out of contact? That's low key racist? <laughs> menacing? Huh. A menacing atmosphere? I mean, real live ammunition and, you know, guns are coming into the play. Who's gonna get shot? Again, this is crazy that students have to do this. Fucking students have to wear a bulletproof vest to attend this fucking competition. Like, that's insane if you think about it, right? Like, the student, like, where are the professionals? A bunch of fancy shit that I don't understand. Talk your shit, let's go! Um, uh, anime willpower. Magic. Wow. It's lighting up like a light bulb. Wow. Okay, a little bit of pseudoscience. Okay, okay. Then what are we solving if this has all been resolved? Achan. I have no idea what you're talking about, girl. But we found an effective method now. What is that? Some kind of robot looking suit. Mobile suits? Like, you got like drones? Like, okay. All part of Zhou's plans, I guess. I really don't know what his plans are, though. Okay, more science stuff. You know, stuff gets closer and. Wow! Amazing! But they're not actually colliding. Okay. 
Oh. If they do collide... Uh, where are we going with this? So... Reducing the area that causes the repulsion and somehow that will help with nuclear reaction. I guess. I'm not gonna act like I understand shit though. Nope, not following. <laughs> that movement's kind of sus, bro. <laughs> Come on now. CGI, everyone is CGI right now. All right, amazing, wow. I did not understand anything, but amazing, wow. I want Onisama to do a presentation. Oh, Cardinal George. Oh shit, he's approaching Onisama. I have no idea what you're talking about, bro. Fuck your haircut, though. Now, what does Cardinal George have to present? Sure, I guess. Cardinal George. I feel like you're gonna get rolled 2 0. Really? Oh, we'll see, okay. Honestly, I don't give a shit. Here we go. This is what I care about. Finally, yes! Yes! Only someone get in there! Did any of you actually understand what was going on there? Now, I read the subtitles. I read word for word. But words are coming in one way and coming out the other way. And I'm like, sure, I don't know. What, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, you know what actually matters? What matters is that Cardinal George just got fucked up again. He did not even have a chance to compete. You know why? Because we're getting attacked. Thank God the terrorists, it's not really terrorists this time. The Great Asian Alliance, you know, the man-eating man tiger, they're finally attacking. And I believe there's like other drone armored robots because they've been mentioning bulletproof pests. So they're, sure, they're surely armored. Now, Onisama and Crimson Prince, I expect them to have like a tag team team up collaboration effort. It's going to be so cool moving forward. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.